Yo, yeah, yeah, my funky friends, welcome back to Mario's Nightmare No Safe State. Last time we completed Bowser's Castle um, 3, and today we did Bowser's Castle 4, all of it. If you couldn't tell, this is being post commentated because this level was absurdly hard and took a ridiculous amount of time to complete all the way. In this video, I do I get all three of the stars and beat Bowser, and every single one of the stars took a really, really long time. I don't know if I'm just, like, not that good or what, but this level was really, really hard. So, the first two stars weren't horrible, but the third star, there's one part of the third star where my success rate was one out of I don't know how many. So, anyway, the first star, you just kind of missed that whole in I didn't mention the whole introduction and talk about that, but I'll, we'll be seeing that two more times, so it's fine. Here, what you want to do here is you just want to, um, kind of the whole point of, like, this level is finding, like, the safe, the safe spots, I guess. So, like, for example, this corner right here, you'll be safe from the fire. So, what you want to do here is, what I have to do is I have to get on top of this, um, thwomp right here, which for some reason looks really weird. It's, it looks like it's, like, rusted or something, but aren't thwomps supposed to be made of, like, concrete or something, not like metal or whatever. Anyway, just do triple jump, wall jump, wall jump, grab right there, and the star is right there. For some reason, a lot of the times when I mess it up, I actually mess it up because I wall jump too far and hit the above the entrance and then I died. But anyway, that one didn't take that long. It took maybe like, I think around an hour, but that was also just learning how to do the introduction sections. Okay, so here I'm just, here I just died. The only reason I did that was just to show them um, that when you die on this level, you do respawn right next to the pipe. If you get a star, as you saw, you don't, but if you die, you do. So, I do, I did put a save state, um, like right, like at the pipe, because if I get a game over, I do go back to the beginning, and I guess I didn't show off in this video where Bowser's, where the entrance of this level actually is. If you go back to my Bowser's Castle 3 video, it's basically the door right next to Red Coin 7 at the very top of that really long staircase, which I count and I believe there are 38 stairs. You think that that's enough? Anyway, I'm just... I missed that whole... I didn't talk about this whole section again. Basically, just kind of like a long jumping section. And then with the blocks, what I suggest you do is long jump to grab onto the first block and then do... um. A double long jump for the second one and don't eat well I guess the long jump to the second box then do a double jump to the third and then to the end don't even bother with the first one anyway right here I'm um, just do a long I, I'm like really far behind but I have to show this all again next time like talking about the level wise anyway so right here just do a double jump and kick will get you to this platform then here is a fairly difficult jump I got pretty good at it so it's not as hard anymore but we want to do is just do a triple jump off of that platform, and I think that's the easiest way to get into this area. There's a red coin there, but also, if you do that, then you can um, get on top of that thwomp, and that makes getting to this elevator over here way easier. I think it's possible if you go underneath it, but good luck, because this is one of those... I didn't mention this, but these thwomps, like, in some levels, you can hang onto a platform next to a thwomp, when these ones, if you're hanging and the thwomp comes down, you're dead. It'll just knock you off. Oh no, that blackness is instant death. See what we want to do is you want to do a... You don't want to do this. I'll show you a better way on the next star, but you can do a long jump. The thing about long jumps is that there are only like a few frames that you can actually long jump off an elevator. You have to be at the very top. So if you're not at the very top, you'll just fall. Also, you don't want to do a long jump there. I'll show you a better way too, because if your long jump is not is too high, you'll just hit the top of the snake and die. I'm gonna be right here, you have to wait for the thwomps. This part is kind of annoying, because you have to hope that these two thwomps are lined up well. You want to, um, you want to go, you, you want to hope that, that the other thwomp on the other side is down when, like, when the front thwomp comes up, because that means that when you do the long jump, the other thwomp will be going up, and then you'll make it, and I could have gone all these times, but... Uh, here I go. So you do that, then quickly get through it. Sometimes you take damage, sometimes you don't. If you do take damage, there's a red coin right on top that'll refill your health. Because the way that I did this star, you need at least seven wedges of health because I do two lava bounces because it's the easiest. We want to do here is, um, so what we have to do is we have to get to that grassy, like, island way out there. And what you can do is, if you, like, do this really well, and I messed that up, but you can 
Alright, let's wait for it. Long jump, bounce right there on the lava, right there, and you can just barely make it. Sit out here, I'm really nervous, because this is the first time I've actually made it here after, like, three or four hours. It's a pretty cool, like, little grass area. It's kind of out of place. It's got a nice little tree, though, and everything. So anyway, you just want to line up the cannon shot. Like, basically line up the way I'm doing if you, like, want to copy this. And just shoot. And uh, there you go, you'll get it. Yes, all that black stuff is instant death, so you have to hit the star directly. Or hit the wall and then get the star. Because if you just get into the hole and don't get the star, you're going to die. And you have to do it all over again. So those two stars were hard. But this star is, as of right now, the hardest star I've gotten in any Super Mario 64 ROM hack. It took a ridiculous amount of time. Like, I think, I don't know, like, six hours, seven hours total to get this star. So this is the eight red coins. Most of the level isn't too bad, but there's this one section that I haven't shown off yet, because you only need for the last star, that is... I, I only got past this section one time, and luckily I was able to beat the rest of the level afterwards. Anyway, here, as I said, just do the... Um, grab onto the that blo box, then do a double... I'm um, long jump over. These are the two um, red coins in this area, or I guess silver crystals or silver diamonds. This area isn't very hard. Just take a little bit of practice. I guess here I should probably be pointing out where all the red coins are, because I do the red coin and the um, Bowser together, because the, um, when you get a red coin star in a Bowser level, it won't kick you out. Let me right here, just um, you want to do a long jump and land on the first platform, and then do a double long jump underneath the thwomp. If you're lucky, you can um, do a triple long jump, but chances are that won't happen. Just stop there. Here, do the double jump again. So anyway, like, the whole thing about this level is it's all about, like, waiting and then short burst of, like, you have to go fast. Like, here, I can take my time here, take my time lining up this jump, but then, like, when I get to, like, the elevators, I have to go quickly or else the elevators will flip over and I die. Yeah, and I hate those elevator platforms. I haven't mentioned this. Also, those thwomps, what's, like, underneath them? It looks like blood splattering like underneath the thwomps you can't really see it well there but i didn't point this out like on the first thwomp because that's probably the one that's easiest to see and right here just like yeah go down to like a lower one so you'll have more time so here double jump and kick i think that's the easiest because um you can do like normal jumps double jumps when it isn't at the peak so you don't have to be as precise and then just do a long jump off that platform here we go with the snake and here i also suggest doing a uh, double jump and the kick here because it, it's just more likely to work because sometimes if you do a long jump you just hit the top of the snake or the snake's tooth or something and then you'll die so here once again waiting for the thwomps to be lined up as I said you want to go when you want to hope that when the first thwomp goes up the other thwomp is down it, because um, then when you do the long jump it'll be up by the time you reach there and also just like the last time if there the uh, that, like, platform on the other side, you can ledge grab, but if the thwomp comes down while you're ledge grabbing, while you're ledge grabbing, you're gonna die. It's just gonna knock you off, so, yeah, can't really do anything about that. You just gotta wait for a good time, and this time, I guess, took me a while. I don't really know if jumping all this time is helping. It looks like this is, like, this looks like it has, like, the sand properties, because you can see, like, little sand particles coming out, and sometimes that'll slow you down, so I guess I'm just trying to, like, stay on top of the sand. I don't really know if it helps, but one thing it does help is that sometimes if you... Sometimes I waited so long that, and I didn't move, so Mario actually fell asleep, and if Mario falls asleep, then you have to, like, reorient the camera, because this is, like, the only camera that'll work. Zoomed in Mario cam facing straight forward, and yes, I'm still waiting, and I don't even know what to say. You can see that those thwomps look creepy. I mean, look at them. You can't even see its face anymore. It just looks like... It looks like it's crying or something. Crying blood, which is pretty morbid. But, you know, this is Mario's Nightmare. And it looks like it rusted. Because in Mario's Nightmare, the concrete can rust. Also, don't touch the um sides. Like, you can touch the pink sides right next to it. But the, the sides that are, like slightly slanted that has the property of lava so obviously you don't want to touch that anyway finally get to go quickly avoid it and as i said there's a coin or crystal on there and okay also there are like those little arrows saying that you can go up but it's kind of hard to know to get that one on your own so yeah i'm pointing it out anyway all right now it's entering this room 
Most of this room isn't a problem either, but there's one section in this room that's so unbelievably hard, or maybe it was just hard for me. So here, do a double jump and kick to get onto this platform. Double jump and kick to get off over here. Here, just do some, um, I don't know what these are called, horizontal wall jumps maybe? I don't know, I'm pretty good at, like, wall jumps of all kinds, horizontal wall jumps, so I really had no problem with this one. The hardest part is probably just getting off, because this platform's not very big. But this next part, the double elevator, this killed me so many times. And as I said, I got past this section a grand total of one time. And one time was all I needed, because here you have to long jump. You have to long jump, get good timing, and then hope that you ledge grab. If you don't ledge grab, you're dead. Because if you just land on the platform normally, you're just going to fall off immediately. Also, your time, because you need to have the vanish cap so you can go through that, like, yellow platform. So you can't even take the time to line it up. And if you mess up, you're dead. Entire level, do it again. I... That's why it took me so long, I just had to keep doing this level over and over again. Anyway, the rest of this level is easy, but my nerves were, like, so high, because I did not want to die. If I died, I would have, like, been so mad, because I would have had to have done the jump that I have cleared a grand total of one time again. But luckily, the rest of the level is actually really easy. I mean, you've got a water section that has no obstacles. The only thing that might kill you is the camera, if you're not in Lakitu Cam. Anyway, the seventh coin, the sixth one, is right behind the new area, just do a double jump to it. It's, it looks hard, but it's not. A lot of these jumps look hard, but they're not. That double elevator looks hard, and it is. Get through it. I didn't even do that great of a swim, but still, I wasn't even close to running out of health, and you refill your health. And lastly, a shell section. Now, maybe it's just me, but I'm actually really good at um, shell surfing sections. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what got me so good, like which, which level it was, because I don't really... There aren't really that many shell surfing sections that I've done, but anyway, I'm really good at shell surfing, so this whole section wasn't a problem for me, it would have been a problem for someone else, but I have really good control, so yeah, no big deal, yeah, I'm bragging, whatever. So anyway, you just want to follow the path that I'm doing, I guess that might confuse people if you don't know where to go, because it's kind of a maze, and also there are a few jumps and a few um, fire spewers, I would have thought there would have been more, but I'm pretty glad that there weren't. You know, we just kind of found me. The main, probably the hardest thing about this is just getting a good camera for the entire thing. Be probably that, and also if you're doing the safe state list, having PTSD memories of that awful double elevator. So anyway, here it took me a while to get the camera because obviously I want to have the camera straight forward. Also, this little fire thing right there, no big deal. Get through that, and that's the end of the level. But there is one more um, red coin. Just come over here, and the red coin is right in there. So I guess the one difficult thing about this is um you really don't want to break the shell, and that's kind of hard given that you have a cutscene, but I didn't. Even if you do break the shell, I think, don't quote me on this, don't try if you're doing the save state list and want to risk it, but I think that you can get back here if you have all of your, all, like, seven or eight wedges of health, because I think a long jump and two lava bounces will save you. Anyway, you found a secret star, and right near I'm, like, celebrating like crazy because I'm so happy that I beat this. Anyway, next is Bowser, who's really easy. And, like, the first and second Bowsers are really easy, and you'll see why for this one. So, anyway, we got the Epic Course 7 music. And, uh, yeah, there is a fire. Do you, I guess I should read this. You again? Well, that's fine. I've been looking for something to fry my with my bad breath. Get ready for a tough fight. Tough fight. Yeah, right. I didn't even lose any health. So, anyway, as you can see, there is a fire like spear thing right there where you spawn. So what you want to do is you just want to listen for it, because um, you're safe during the cutscene, so just wait for it to um, go away during the- Like, while you're talking to Bowser, you can hear it going on and off, so when it turns off, just um, quit the tax and then quickly move and you won't take any damage. So here's where the bombs are. It doesn't look like there are any looking around, but when Bowser jumps, you can see that- Wait for it, yeah, the bombs are actually slightly underneath the platform. Now here's the thing, you might think that this is hard, like you have to do it while it's up. Nope! You wanna see how you do it? Grab Bowser, come on. And... Wait for it. Drop him. You can hit him just through the platform, you don't have to wait for it to be down, so that makes that level very, very easy. No, I can't have lost this key, Is I, I didn't even have a chance to read that. You know, anyway...
that was Bowser 2, Bowser's Castle 4. It took a long time, but I'm very happy I beat it. And uh, next time, we'll probably do some easier levels. I'll go to some of the other Bowser's Castles or Course 11 or anything in the new world. Anyway, yeah, I thank you all for watching, and I will see you all next time. Goodbye, and take care.